Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is this, most of my official non-WWE uh, DVDs that I have. Uh, a lot of them are TNA slash Impact Wrestling. Some are not. But these are my non-WWE DVDs that I have. Um, just to let you also know, some of the other ones I have over here, like the Ring of Honor New Japan Supercard from last year. And I think the um, Slammiversary from about a year or two ago. That was one of the headline matches there was um, Pentagon against Sammy Callahan. So I have that. So I have those, like I said, all there along with, I think, AEW, Double or Nothing and All In. So they're like in here somewhere. So those are my ones that I recorded um, off television to my DVRs. But anyway, but anyway, besides that, these are the official ones that I bought. Um, and I just hit the highlight button so I can see what I'm doing here. But these are the official ones that I bought throughout the years. Most of these I bought when I was in Kansas and I brought back with me. Uh, the case... Um, as far as like let's say the regular you know cases that they came in, um, I had to use those for other DVDs and stuff. Like some of the DVDs I would send to Zero Nazarak with a case uh, came you know from some of these. So anyway, just to let you know about that before I show you. So without further ado, let me show you the non WWE uh, DVDs that I do have. So, first of all, these were heavily advertised by TNA when they were being released. We have Volume 1 of the 50 Greatest Moments in TNA History. That's Volume 1. Hit the highlight button again. But like I said, that's Volume 1. Right there. And here is volume one of Best of the Bloodiest Brawls. I think they have a volume two. I still got to get it. The headline match on here, of course, is the first Bob Wire Massacre. Then we have Slammiversary. This one is 2007. Then we have TNA, uh, Return of an Icon, the Sting DVD that they did. So I have both this and um, the WWE one. This is um, Heaven Sent, Hell Bound, the best of Christopher Daniels. This is the TNA do um, documentary they did for him, or the best of series they did for him, uh, which has his... Uh, match in Rindy City Wrestling as a bonus. I have to do that thing again. I had to hit the highlight button. Then we have TNA Lockdown. This is 2007. Then we have the History of TNA Year One. Then we have Bound for Glory. This was when Kurt Angle um, made it. Well, he made his debut on Impact, but this was his pay per view debut as a special guest referee for the Jarrett Sting match. We have another lockdown Six Sides of Steel. I think this might have been 2006 or 2005. I don't really know. And here we have the two disc set of the director's cut of Forever Hardcore. This was released um, around the time that they did uh, the ECWs, um, the Rise and Fall of ECW in WWE. So. Yeah, we have a hardcore volume one. I mean, 
no, but, but disc one, the director's cut, and disc two with the bonus features. And here we have Hardcore Homecoming Platinum Edition, disc one. And then disc two right there. Actually, these before it were the Forever Hardcore documentary is what it was, which was, again, like I said, uh, released um, right around the time the Rise and Fall VCW was released. And then this was the accompanying disc with it. This is the Hardcore Homecoming November Rain, Platinum Edition, Volume uh, Disc 1, um, as well as Disc 2. Hitting the highlight button so I can see what I'm doing here. And these here are from events I actually attended in person, but I wanted to get the DVDs to support them. This is Central States Wrestling uh, Beauty um, Into the Abyss. This is the November 12th, 2005 one. This is the one I actually re-uploaded in 4K on my channel that you can actually see me in the audience as soon as they show Abyss coming out. And that was my dog. She's just waking up right now. And here we have 2006 Hostile Intentions, which I also attended. If you, so that's pretty cool. And then this one, Beauty and the Beast, which is a which is the Return of Abyss. And then we have Hot August Nights or Hot August Frights, actually. I don't know if this was the one at the community building or not. And yes, Brian Zane, if you want to know, I have a WEW DVD, Women's uh, Erotic Insanity, as it's called. This one. Actually, I should put these in order. Because here we have the Pain Game, which was the other CZW uh, event that I went to. And then, like I said, we have WEW right there. But, uh, yeah, these are pretty much all of my non -W officially bought non-WWE uh, DVDs that I have in my collection. So, I'll just show you guys that. I've got just a camera here. And, um, really, that's about it. So, yeah. Thank, thank you guys for watching, and let me know what you all think down below. Comment if you like, and I am out.